The lack of Americans with Disabilities Act compliance within GDOE facilities is well known. And while many of the schools were built well before the ADA first became law in 1990, the school system has had more than 30 years to address the issue. Even newly hired Superintendent Ken Swanson is well aware of the issues. One of the biggest access things that I've seen is the door width to the restrooms. Uh, so a student that's got a, a, a cambered wheelchair that's otherwise pretty mobile on their own can't get through the doorway. It's got to be 36 inches wide, and I see doorways that are two feet wide. So those kinds of problems we're going to have to address building by building. Longtime GDOE board member Maria Gutierrez points to get more noncompliance. Schools that have elevators, there is a, there's a sign out of order. I asked LBJ, some, I mean, someone I went to school, What's wrong with your elevators? I don't know, Mrs. G, this is already since before I came here, like four or five years ago. So those schools that have the elevator, they're not working. Attorney Daniel Summerfleck, who represents parents of disabled students who are suing GDOE for various failures, says it's time to act. If I were looking at it, I would look at more than a plan to plan. I would look at putting our priorities in place and to me saying a child can use the bathroom seems like a pretty straightforward priority number one. Education Chairman Senator Chris Barnett. I totally uh, agree with what you're saying. The plan to plan to plan to plan to plan. Look at the situation um, with the public health and safety guidelines for the schools. Uh, we demanded immediate action through Public Law 37-4 and the, the pushback from uh, add a loop on down to even here in the legislature was um, was frustrating. But while he supports the bill, Superintendent Swanson reminds that the problems date back decades. I do want to caution the, the legislature that there's going to be a price tag with that. It's, as I look at our facilities, need a tremendous amount of, of uh, work. Senator Will Parkinson is the main sponsor of the bill. I said earlier we must rally together with commitment and passion. Passion is what made me bring this issue up today, but it's commitment that will solve the problem. Nestor Lecanto, KUAM News.